Sometimes in life, you'll find yourself in a situation where you have to find a scholarly journal. So once you find an article, how can you tell if it's scholarly? Scholarly journals are often referred to as peer review journals or referee journals. But what does all this mean? Well, when an article is submitted to a peer review journal, the editor sends a copy of the article to several experts in the field. These experts, peers of the original author, review the article and make sure it meets the standards of scholarship in that field. Scholarly journals can be identified by their look. Unlike popular magazines with large headlines and colored pictures designed to attract your attention, scholarly journals can be kind of boring. Almost as if they don't want you to notice them, but might consent to be read if you are really interested. Online, it can be even harder to tell the difference because the visual cues are not always there. Scholarly journals and popular magazines can in fact look quite similar, but there are several things you can look for as hallmarks of scholarly journal articles. These include being written by authors who are experts, having an abstract, being long, containing a bibliography, containing a methodology section, and having data, charts, and tables to back up their conclusions and results. As an example, here we have an article entitled Measuring the Effect of Subprime Lending on Neighborhood Foreclosures. You can see the source here is the Urban Affairs Review. This certainly sounds like a scholarly article, but is it? Let's check our criteria. So from the article record, I can see that both of these authors are in fact affiliated with institutions, one a university and the other a research institute. This information of the author's affiliations are also available on the first page of many articles. And if it's not available on the first page, often you'll find it at the end of an article. And in this case, it actually describes the author's positions in the, in the institutions with which they work. So these guys do look like experts. Next, we look for an abstract, which we see here is present. And then we look for page length. It's not uncommon for a scholarly journal article to be 20 pages or more in length. This one happens to be 28 pages, which definitely seems long enough for a scholarly publication. Another key element of scholarly journal articles is that they have a list of sources consulted or bibliography. Now there are several journals which include long essays by respected scholars that don't have citations in them. Whether they qualify as scholarly or not will kind of depend on your situation and what your professor may think. These are probably very well written, but they're not generally peer reviewed in the way that we discussed before, instead being vetted by an editor. And they don't usually contain original research, like this type of article here. But in our case we have citations, so we're good. Next we look for a section of the article that explains the research methodology and tells a little bit about what they're trying to do and how they went about doing it. So we could find that here. And this article has lots of tables and charts and diagrams with data upon which their conclusions are based. So this article meets all the criteria for a scholarly journal. It's important to note that scholarly articles in the arts and humanities are not usually driven by numbers, instead being grounded in a discussion of theories or paradigms. Their data is usually a description of historical events or work of art, such as a play or literature, as opposed to numbers. So you won't find hard data in arts and humanities articles nearly as often. If after doing your analysis of all these factors you still aren't sure, you can go to their Ulrich's periodical directory, available through Langstone Library, and you can search for a journal title. So in this case, our journal was the Urban Affairs Review. And when we search for that name, we'll see this little referee uh, jersey here icon, and that means that this is a referee journal. In most cases, it only takes a few minutes to determine if an article is scholarly or not. You just need to look for the article, author's credentials, check for an abstract, make sure the article seems long, look for citations or bibliography, and finally check to see if the research methodology or theoretical framework for the analysis is explained, and look for data to support the conclusions. Most of the time this will give you enough information to make a determination, but you can check all works as well if you're still unsure.